No, I don't want to leave you. No, there is one more. <gasps> Hooray! No, there are no... Yes, yes. Of all the creatures I've met, you are the kindest, that's for sure. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you. Go ahead. That woman, turn from the ruin. Turn and go forward. Do it for the working class. What woman? The one that... You cannot lie to me. Behind you, it smells of fires. So awfully far you were prepared to go in her presence. And then... All right. She was middle class. It doesn't take a three meters thick insect to tell you that. Oh. Are you talking about Klausia? Or whatever? The one that... Uh... I think that that woman turned from the ruin, turn and go forward, do it for the working class. Uh... You smell the fire. Be far away. Huh. Okay. I'll raise my hand. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. Suddenly, there is silence. No, stop. Be afraid. Never raise your other hand. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life, its limbs moving independent of each other. As if each has a mind of its own. They are white like stalks of porcelain knitting above you. Shifting around in the reeds around it, in the muddy water, you notice some of its hind legs apparently standing on the water from time to time. It's that light. Wow. <laughs> Disengage. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water, the long limbs carrying its feather weight without breaking its surface. There it goes. Holy crap! And just like that, it's gone. Skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water. And something under it, in the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds, a collection of items. It's gone. It can walk on water. <laughs> it's Jesus. Apparently, yes. Like a water strider. Only, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Yeah, so maybe you owe me a little bit of a, an apology there, eh, Kim? For all that... All that shit talk about it not existing. So, uh, yeah. What's that in the reeds over there? Looks like a nest of some sort. We should have a look. Oh, we're gonna. For what now? <laughs> the old man behind you repeats suddenly. He, he's put his hands into the ash. It's dirty and black. Our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. Yeah, yeah, but the eggs, the, 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 the nest thing first. Let's just, what we got here? Auto save! Yeah. Oh! Whoa, what the hell? <gasps> Rifle scope! Brother, you've managed to collect all the armor pieces. Hey! Too bad it's too late for the big showdown. Dang. Don't think this helmet would have helped me anyway. Look down at my wound. Yeah, I didn't get shot in the head. At least my collector's impulse has been satisfied. Indeed. You found it all. Hooray! Now your mortal coil is completely protected few cops are this futuristic at least now i am truly invincible oh we better put it on all of it all right let's make sure submit the boots and this and i guess we'll help just remove the jacket for a minute we're gonna look at it yeah. Yeah. There we are. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Looking badass. All right, I'll put on my detecting coat. Oh, yeah. I can't get a look at the face, but it looks hilarious from this. Looks like I got big, 
puffy cheeks. I look kind of funny. Hell yeah. Now that's a freaking detective right there. That's the one. Oh, look at me, Kim. Better looking than you now. So people can't see my face. Was that its nest or... That, that's what it had? It had fucking armor? Alright, that's pretty sweet. Alright, crazy old man. What, what do you want from me? I can't go. Dude, there's a phase mid there behind you. Like, it could have done anything this whole time. It's been watching you this whole time. You're crazy. Get out of here. Something is very wrong with him now. Dude, how did you... How could you not see the phase mid? See? Wow, he's really lost it. Mr. Dallas? The man does not respond. Rubber. He keeps staring. Black eyes glazed over and bulging from their sockets. His gap-toothed mouth shaking like an addict of some terrible substance <laughs> wave your hands in front of his eyes hello a light shiver passes him followed by nothing he's his faking hands it are trembling and he breathes slowly he's faking it he's going into some kind of psychomotory mobility the good news is this solves our transportation problem doesn't it mr Dallas? the trembling mouth appears to sigh between this and the broken tire he's used for a boat i think it's safe to leave him here while we go and get help it will need to be medical first i'm afraid <laughs> just gonna leave him here uh what has happened to this man uh we found some things in the phasma's nest mr dross yeah we found your scope bitch he stares into the reeds your words don't stir anything in him perhaps you should tap on the helmet on my head nothing just dull staring not even rage left wherever he is oh the last embers have gone out the war is over you're done for if kuno kicked it into the sea as he said he did the ebb would put it back here this makes sense mr Dross could have picked it up or the phasmid even if it did this is incredible yeah that's a very strong phasmid and Kuno didn't lie to us, so there you go. How about this scope? I, I lost. Ah, you lost it, huh? Huh? Is that what you said? He turns his eyes to the reeds again, as he's done so many times. Okay, Beige that phasma definitely stripes. Definitely fried his brain, being like on this island with him for so long. <laughs> he lost the scope. Then it somehow made its way over there, with the help of a magpie phasma. Perhaps. This site is a T9, Mr. Dross. Was it attached to the rifle when you made the shot? Silence. Not even a sigh. All right, we'll leave you alone. The plastic cape flaps around his face in a gust of wind. His back is slouched and his mouth open. The blacks of his eyes are receding. His pupils are returning to normal. What happened to this man? Old age and shock. I think it's the phasmid. Yes, the arrest and the appearance of the phasmid, the combined stress. But you think it's something more than that, don't you? Yes. There's much more. Remember what it said when it spoke. It's definitely toxic, man. The, the phasmid, it told me. It told me this. Told you? Yes. Yes, good. Dude. During your long steering match, I yes. understand. We were connected at the mines. You should you should not doubt me at this point, Kim. Damn, it's been here for a long time. Who knows how much of it? It's how how much of it in its company? Who knows how much of it in its company? Whatever. How long has he been around it? Whatever. He did seem distressed when it finally came to arresting him. Like he didn't want to leave this place and the insect, maybe. Hmm. I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. Kim, I hope I remember all of this. Idiot. This will be one hell of a report. Thank God we have the photo. Yeah. All right. Hang tight, crazy man. We should think about getting back to the mainland to get help. He'll be safe here if we don't take too long. Holy jumping. Let's get the hell out of here, Kim. That was bananas. That was a peanut butter and banana sandwich right there. That was bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This shit is bananas.
can't believe Kim is still doubting me. Like, what, what nerve does this guy have? How can you doubt me? I've gotten everything right, Kim. I'm the best detective. I outrank you. Always doubting me. Unbelievable. Well, hopefully he remains on this island. He is, he's not just tricking us. If he's just tricking us, Kim, this is on you. You're going to get in trouble. Not me. Because I have a gun. And drugs. And booze. And I outrank you. So I am better. Alright, how, where the hell and how the hell do we get off this island? Help me. Uh. Use the boat. Yep. There's the boat. I think, nope, that's the chain. Which means the boat... Was down fucking here somewhere. Boat? Are you boating over here? Where are you, boat? Can someone steal our boat? Ah, crap. Ah, crap! Whatever. We're gonna... Damn, man, I can't believe how long this Let's Play was. I did not... I swear, man, when I first started this, I was like, oh, this might be like 50 episodes or something. Like, double that shit. Dang Beefy. I still get shocked by this game, though. Still, new stuff still happens when I play it. Is that where... Came from? Or... No. Maybe. Well, let me check. I'll check before I go take a long trek over there. Yes. Yes, we've been here. Okay. Oh! Come on, Kim. We'll figure this out. This is the hottest part of the mystery, bro. It's figuring out how to get off this island. Hmm. It definitely should be over here. Can I just fast travel out of here? Please? No. Garbage. Where? Is the boat, Kim? Can I should I talk to you? Yes. Never mind. That's cool, man. That's cool. Alrighty then. Well, I guess I'll just end it here, and then uh, in the next one we'll be on the boat and continuing onward with our story. And uh, thank you everybody for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. It only takes a second of your time, and it really helps me and the channel out. All that great stuff. You want to help me out even more? Go check out my podcast, the GX Hockey Plus Cast. It's on all your favorite streaming platforms. There's a link down in the description below. You can go check it out there. And, uh, yeah, I talk about video games, wrestling, and hockey. Three episodes per week. I just my three favorite things. I love talking about them, and I do that. And I talk a lot about it. So there you go. So go check it out. See if there's anything over there that you like. And, uh, yeah, you can also check out the Twitter page. You can, uh, yeah, Twitter. All that good stuff. Oh, man, good old-fashioned Twitter.